Hi Coco, welcome to your reading. <sighs> Thank you for your patience while I got this out to you. It's just been a little bit crazy. <laughs> Unfortunately, we found out that my niece and sister, my nephew and my sister-in-law on Juan's side uh, tested positive for COVID and my niece was diagnosed with cancer. So it has been a bit of a crazy week, um, weeks. <laughs> um, so pardon the delay, normally it doesn't take this long, but let's go ahead and get into this Oracle reading. First, we're gonna set your intention. Oops, I have the wrong essential oil. We're gonna do lavender. Um, lavender is good for tranquility, well-being, relaxation, Oh, just all that good stuff. Things that are never, you know, it's never a bad thing to have a little extra help in those departments. So if you've never set intention before, think of it like a birthday candle. But instead of saying things like I wish or I want, try to focus on like I make, I manifest, I will have, or like speaking it into existence, you know? Okay. Pause if you need more time, but I'm gonna light this. And um, I'm just gonna scooch it up out of shuffle range so that your intention can go out to the universe and make its way back to you. So let's go ahead and get into this. We are doing what's coming up next month. Let's see, you know, what energy is coming towards us? What can help us? What do we need to release? What do we need to embrace? All of those things about, you know, relationships, job, whatever spirit has to say. So let's go ahead. All right, shatter. Things that shatter you and break your heart can open your eyes. No true statement has ever been said. <sighs> That's a rough one. I will say, um, if we look at the numerology, three plus two is a five. I do use numerology. Um, and that five is normally a number of, of conflict, of tension. It can be about loss. Um, it can be about like pain, despair, grief. Um, and the fact that we have rain here as well, only after I crawled through the mud and waited for the sun, I realized that it was the rain that made me clean again. I always tell people whenever we see readings like this, I don't want you to ever feel like you have manifested something bad towards you. You manifested someone hurting your feelings, betraying your trust. You manifested your toxic boss. Absolutely not. We have free will and unfortunately spirit can't account for all of that. It can only be there for us. Um, I never want someone to say, oh, well, without this suffering, you wouldn't have been so strong without, you know, whatever. I wouldn't have, you know, I, you didn't need to be strong. You needed to be supported. You needed to be protected. Um, and spirit is, you know, letting you know that while you didn't get maybe what you needed from the people around you, um, you were going to be able to become it yourself you know, the rain, quote unquote, in your life, the difficulties we're experiencing have put into sharp relief what we need, what we deserve, what we want. Um, and it's one of those, we never deserve the things that happen to us, you know, the, these negative things, but sometimes we do become thankful for them because it showed us what we des what we demand, what we should demand. Um, and Spirit is letting you know you are going through a period of growth. You are gonna go through currently a period of growth. And right now it looks like we're having growing pains, um, which is frustrating, obviously. No one wants that. Uh, that's never fun to hear. It doesn't matter that I'm growing. It still hurts right now. Um, but spirit is letting you know you are growing. Things are changing. Um, it's just these aren't things that can happen overnight. Spirit had something to say. Threw a card at me. What we have? They ha you and your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Interesting. I don't know if you've been feeling a lot of stress about your family, about your loved ones. I don't know if you've been having, um, feeling a lot of uncertainty, especially with just how the world is right now. Just pandemic, um, economy, just, <laughs> you know, it's a no-win situation here. It's freaking out, freaking everybody out. Um, we have here, prosperity lies ahead. So I know you were talking about your job. It does look like there's gonna be some positive things going along with that prosperity. And we have conclusions are within reach. So I do feel here specifically with the prosperity lies ahead. Um, we are looking at 
go figure. We'll talk about that in a second. We are looking at, I feel like something's going to happen by Taurus season. Taurus season is uh, April, May. April 20th to May 20th, actually. Um, and I think you're going to see something career-wise happen or open up or um, something like that around Taurus season. We do have the fox that came out, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Spirit is telling you to be mindful and be um, aware when it comes to business right now. Something requires shrewdness, um, a lighthearted, carefree time is approaching you and your loved ones are safe you'll be able to enjoy a light-hearted and carefree time i'm pulling these uh these are fortune cards tv fortune cards they have very specific themes and stuff on them and i'm just feeling through all of the cards uh, until i get a hit this one someone is leaving your life conclusions are within reach someone is leaving your life it does look like with this, uh, you mentioned your relationships are a little, I think you said relationships are uh, crazy. Uh, it's, although it's always hard to see someone leave our life, this does look like it's going to be a good thing. We have conclusions are within reach. reach. This feels um, like a good thing. It might, we have she who aches sadness, solitude, silent, withdraw. Potentially that's what we're afraid of. Maybe, are we accepting less because we're afraid of being alone? Um, because we're afraid of people walking out on us, so we're accepting less and it's hurting us. Um, hurting the people we love because they can see us doing it. who becomes I love that especially with growth we have a turn a metamorphosis transcend journey we are definitely glowing up growing up growing forward um, this is absolutely something that is not happening without purpose um, you are you might feel like you're struggling but the struggles are soon going to be over. At first, it might seem like they're not because someone leaves your life, because we do need to be shrewd in business, because we are hurting right now, because we will feel alone. But spirits letting us know those are temporary things. Those are not permanent things. Those are not things that are going to be in our life forever. They are just things that we are going to feel for a time and then... Um, uh, bloom through it we have pig beware of greed i'm getting here specifically um not you being greedy beware of people in your life that are greedy that are using you and will leave when you no longer give them what they want when you're no longer their cash cow when you're no longer their enabler when you are no longer the person who is going to let yourself be not that you are now but you know when someone when in general is no longer the person that a narcissist or toxic person can control abuse gaslight manipulate whatever you want to do it when someone is no longer that they leave they move on they know that they cannot wring anything else out of you and they're not about to grow they're not about to kind of put in the work so they leave your life and they go to somebody else's and unfortunately they become someone else's problem but again that's their problem that's their karma they have to deal with not the person whom they're going to latch on to but the individual who is going to be doing the leaving um, their absence is going to make you able to move forward. I feel like when they leave, when they go, whatever it is, you're so suddenly going to realize this. The ways that they were holding you back. The ways that they were the one who were, con who were continually shattering your peace. The one who was continually raining on your parade and making you feel doubtful and insecurity about yourself and your loved ones. Um, I, I'm getting that this is a male person. It feels like a male person. 
specifically. Let me get a love card. Let me get, whether that is a relationship, a situationship, a, you know what I mean, talking, an old flame, a comfortable whatever. Um, I'm getting that this is a person, a male person, that spirit is encouraging you to be mindful of, release our ex. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit. What else do you have to tell the spirit? We do have playfulness down here while I continue to shuffle. I do feel like spirit is encouraging you, especially because it does seem like you are going through a stressful, tense time. Remember to play, to be playful, but make sure we're playing and not escaping. I hear that very specifically. Playing, not escaping. There's a difference. Um, there's a difference between releasing all of those pent up emotions and suppressing them. And that is what spirit, you know, is warning you against. Don't suppress, release. We want to be productive with ourself, not destructive. So let's get a couple of charms. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I'm definitely getting, if there is a person in your life a kind of romantic in and out kind of person ah uh, because we have here this combination to me I can't pick it up because of my flipping nails <laughs> we have the little tiny married couple very cute but this this instrument here this is someone loudly braying their opinion over and over whether or not you want it um i am getting the sense that this is a person who is so loud in your life and i don't necessarily mean like screaming you know they are so loud in your life in your mind in your time that you don't have time to see or think or do anything else you're kind of stuck in their web let me let me zoom this in please zoom thank you we're we're we go. We're stuck in their web a little bit. You can't move on. And anytime you start to move or jiggle like a spider, they can tell. They can tell that you're looking to move forward. And that's when they pounce again. We have the number three, um, which is oftentimes about teamwork, but I'm getting third party. And I don't necessarily mean adultery. I just mean that there is something, there's something else. There's something something else going on something there is an out out blah, 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 outside unseen force that is affecting your life there's a third party in your life that is not you and not your loved ones that is screwing things up whether it's a romantic interest a boss a friend there is a third party that is continually getting you down they might be a Capricorn. We have Saturn here, Saturn rules Capricorn and kind of Aquarius to a lesser extent, could be an Aquarius as well. Um, this has to do with rules, structure, authority, consequences. Um, this could be someone who's kind of stern, kind of my way or the highway. He can be the life or, or, or they, I keep saying he, it doesn't have to be a he, I just, I guess it feels like a masculine energy to me. They can be the life of the party, but um, they can also be cutting, cutting, um, just uh, someone you don't wanna be around. We do have a little prosperity, more prosperity, a little luck, the lucky dime. We have mother and daughter forever, focusing on female bonds here, specifically family bonds. Doesn't have to be, and also family is what you make of it. Uh, mother, daughter, potentially your mother or your daughter um, is coming forward. And then we have here, this is what I like, as I left it for last, um, this little 
swallow, sparrow, whatever you want to call it. It makes me think about the old stories when before, you know, ye old GPS and stuff like that. Um, we would sailors would know that they were getting close to shore when they would see birds because birds can only fly out so far and and still be able to make it back to land so they would know ah uh, we are getting close spirit is letting you know we're getting close to the end of the turmoil okay prosperity lies ahead conclusions are within reach you are going to have your transformation you're going to have your cake and eat it too um but first we do need to kind of get over this hump we might feel a little more ache before it gets better but spirit is letting you know don't let that stop you don't let someone out drown out what you need or what you want okay so that is what the message is Spirit is sending through for you at this time. If you have any questions, of course, please don't hesitate to contact me. Reach out. Um, I hope that you and your loved ones have been doing well so far and happy and safe and healthy, all those wonderful things. And I'll talk to you again. Bye.